Joining us on the phone is the current chairman and CEO of GE, Larry Culp. Uh, as our viewers might imagine, of course, lots to ask Mr. Culp about involving the company now, but we're going to leave that for another day. Today is about Jack Welsh. Uh, as Ken just pointed out, uh, Larry, it's almost 20 years since Mr. Welsh stepped down as the CEO of the company you now lead. I'm curious, though, when you look around and the work you do, do you see his influence still at GE? David, good morning. Uh, Today, obviously, is a very sad day for us here at, at GE and for the entire GE family. Uh, I think those of us who knew Jack knew him, as Ken said earlier, uh, to be a larger-than-life figure and was certainly the heart and soul of this company for over half a century. I think with respect to uh, his influences today, I, I think we certainly see uh, a great deal of those influences around the company today. I know. Speaking personally, he was a strong influence uh, on me throughout my career, despite the fact I never worked for him. And as we look around the company today, I mean, his, his memory and uh, his influence has certainly loomed very large for us. Yeah, tell us a bit about your own experiences. As you say, you never worked for him, but at the same time, how did he have an influence on your career, Larry? David, I had a chance to meet Jack uh, back in the late 80s when I was a student at HBS. Uh, I remember it vividly. I suspect uh, Jack didn't. Uh, but you know, anyone who grew up in the industrial world, or even more broadly during that time, I, I think went to school on GE. And uh, whether it was an orientation toward talent, uh, globalization, and the like, uh, those were uh, ideas that Jack was able to execute on and I think taught many of us uh, how, to do, how to do the same. And I would say even in this role, uh, Jack has continued to have an influence on me. I remember when I saw him last, uh, what I'll always remember most vividly was Jack leaning across the table and asking, so how exactly are you running the company? Jack was still very much in the game, very much committed to our success. And frankly, to have Jack ask me how I'm running GE was a rather humbling moment. I'm sure it was. Uh, as uh, he knew very well, of course, Larry, business is a dynamic thing. Uh, you can't stay static. And GE certainly has changed a great deal uh, since the times that he put together what was that enormous company uh, at the time. Um, you know, talk just briefly about the changes, of course, but the legacy of Mr. Welsh, in your opinion, as well at GE. Well, I think Jack was, was first and foremost about talent and the team. And he had a, a deep passion for winning. And those are very much uh, values that we embody today. And I think the, uh, the greatest tribute we can pay Jack going forward, and Jack was always focused on the future, was to continue to uh, strengthen this company with an eye toward winning. Well, Larry, we certainly appreciate your taking a few moments with us to, uh, to remember Mr. Welsh. Somebody, all three of us up here also, of course, knew well through the years. And uh, remember uh, so fondly. Uh, Larry Culp, Chairman and CEO of GE.